Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and if you're new, welcome, I'm Stefania. In today's video I'm gonna set up my reading journal for the month of January. I'm gonna use some stickers, a few pens and also some washi tapes, but I don't know why I haven't put them here in this little intro, I just forgot about it. I'm gonna start from the cover page and you're gonna see that it's uh, really different from uh, last year. Or better, I've decided to use the last page uh, to put the name of the month, let's say in this way, so it has the main cover, while I've decided to use the right one to put, uh, let's say, a few stats. Basically, I will not create the month review page like I've done last year for every single month, Instead, I'll just have this uh, little page next to the cover and together they're gonna come as cover page. I know this video probably is coming out uh, at the end of the month, but I'm sorry, I wanted to give priority to other videos. And other than that, I wanted to remember that uh, for me, it's fine to have the reading journal ready also throughout the month. It's not like my bullet journal that I need it to be ready before the month starts because I needed to plan everything. Well, for the reading journal, I don't need it in this way. I can work on it whenever I want. Anyway, as I've said before, I love the scrapbooking theme, so of course uh, I'm gonna keep doing it. Uh, I've decided to use some stickers and uh, I've finished creating something uh, which would be a book theme, I would say. And it's weird because I've already done that for January in my bullet journal. This thing wasn't planned at all. But I have a new obsession which is uh, clip art, watercolors clip art actually. And you can find some of them are amazing and are on Etsy. And uh, well, I have a new obsession people. Like, I think it's gonna go out of control. While I'm working on the other page of the cover page, I'm gonna explain this so it will not be that weird. You can see that thing on top, basically right now it's gonna be empty, but it's a little shelf where I will draw throughout the month all the books that I've read, so I can have them there. I thought it was a nice idea, it was for sure something that was in my mind and it was why not. And underneath it I just have some basic things such as how many books I've read and other stats. But for sure this page will be 100 times better at the end of the month, I'm pretty sure about it. As I've previously said, my monthly view would have been different with the new year, and so here we go. Basically, I'm just gonna choose a color for each single book, so a book, a color, and I will just draw a line throughout all the days in which I'm reading that book. Probably doesn't make sense in this way, but I'm pretty sure you've already seen it somewhere, because I've seen a lot of people using this type of tracker, I would say, in this way at least, and I thought it was nice because by looking at it at the end of the month, there won't be anything empty, there won't be too much space. The only problem is that uh, creating this page without knowing how many books I'm gonna actually read throughout the month can be a little bit complicated because I don't know how much space I'm gonna need. So I basically left space for six books here, which I think it's gonna be quite good, I hope so and uh, every single book will have its own color so that's why i'm creating the little square at the bottom of the page next to the square i'll write the title of the book and the square will take a color that's gonna be the color for that book
My reading tracker is uh, the spread that is gonna be the same. As said last year, that was working amazingly, so there was no need to change it. It's nothing complicated. I basically just take a color that I'm gonna choose for the month in this case and uh, I'm gonna draw a line next to each single day to reach the number of pages that I've actually read. It's quite easy. What's not so easy is that uh, since at the bottom I divided in 10, so 10 pages, 20 and so on, 30, 40. I don't have the exam number, so usually next to that line I write the exam number of pages that I've read in that day. Last page for this setup is my Books of January tracker or spread probably is better and uh, last year I was always creating a Dutch door after I realized that with two pages I was running out of space in January I've decided to do something different which is trying to avoid the Dutch door and uh, make sure that I had enough space uh, with only two pages to do that I've put the title only on the left and not on both of the pages so I have basically my right page Quite of empty, there is just something a little bit on a side, but it shouldn't bother me. In this way, I think I should be able to fit, uh, I would say, five, six, maybe even seven books. And so, this is definitely amazing. Also, when I've done the different titles, uh, I let's say I cut where I shouldn't have, and so I've decided to put a sticker exactly there. We are at the end of the video, so I'm gonna leave you with a little flip through. If you've enjoyed this video, remember to give it a thumb up. Let me know with a comment if you have a reading journal or not. Remember to subscribe for more videos like this one. As always, thank you so much for your support. See you next time. Bye!